Oh shit. No. Hey. What the heck? Why is this locked? Unchain this door. Uh, sure. But uh, hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> it is my landlady. <laughs> she was trying to open the door. <laughs> hmm? The landlady? Yeah, I forgot to pay my rent last month. <laughs> you know how it is with money. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. I'm gonna use the bathroom. Oh. <sighs> Vincent, what is this? Will you keep it down? Huh? One of my bosses is here. Huh? Really? Not the best time for you to be. Maybe I should at least say hello. <clears throat> he gets real grumpy if you wake him up. He's sleeping in the back. Well, if you really think it would... <clears throat> okay. Huh? He's awake? Yeah, hurry up. Now hey! Go, 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 go. Uh, uh... Sorry, really sorry. I just wanted to protect you from the smell. Huh? He really smells, you know, and he was drinking last night. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm glad I got you out in time. Whew. Hey, we're not that close, but he kind of forced his way in while he was drunk. Oh, well, he is your boss, huh? Yeah, he is. You just seemed really stressed, so I came to see how you were doing. Thank you. Uh, come by after work and I'll complain some more. <laughs> oh, I got you something from the new shop that opened up. Oh, uh, yeah? Here. I'll see you later. Owen, oh, I am pregnant. <laughs> I just wanted you to know. Seriously? Was that why you really came here? I need to make up my mind quick. You don't know how that makes me feel. Seriously. See ya. First of all, holy shit! <laughs> that was intense there. I almost got out of my seat just from watching that. And holy crap, she is pregnant! Oh god, we're totally screwed. Meeting the parents. Just gonna sit here and let this happen. Hmm? You got a mail. I can't let her tempt me. Shit, if she finds out, I am Yeah, screwed. she will kill us. I gotta do something quick. No time to think about the future. Still. Did you see the movie where the guy was, uh, you know... Shut up, asshole! And just give me some <laughs> toilet paper, please! Well, quit mumbling. I can't concentrate in here. Still, this girl... Look, girl? Hey, what are you looking at in there? <laughs> I wanna see? What am I thinking? This can't go on any longer. I have to tell her to stop. Dude, do not delete that picture. <laughs> Dude, don't delete the picture. I want to see it first. God. Oh. 
So, uh, you still doing the two-timing tango? Yeah, don't say it like that. It wasn't on purpose. Well, if she is pregnant, you gotta bite the bullet. <laughs> yeah, you're only saying that because it's not you. Hey, man, variety is the spice of life. You need to enjoy it more. Just like the wasabi-coated sushi they serve here. You know what I'm saying, bro? You suck at metaphors. What I'm saying is, you've got options ahead that of you. That was a sheep. Yeah. Maybe Catherine would be happier as a single mom than she would be with you. What, are you drunk? No, she wouldn't want that. Well, what exactly do you want here? <sighs> my mind and my heart don't exactly agree on that. Uh-huh. Well, you've got to be even more careful. If you're caught, you can't call it an accident anymore. I know. I know. Accidents, huh? One more of them lately. The old guy next door to me Damn. picked the bucket. I heard shotgun, huh? Thought he always said like to party. Probably party too hard. He had this horrible look on his face. Really? It's like that stuff on the road. <sighs> anyway, have some magro. It's supposed to be good for your circulation. Huh? You're as pale as a ghost, man. Oh. You going to the bar tonight? Uh, maybe. Yeah, we are. Uh, I have to pass today. Got overtime. But I guess all you can do is drink and forget, huh? Yeah, we're not gonna end up killing ourselves for this much. Just getting wasted for eight days straight. Having horrible dreams. Doing stuff while we're asleep that we can't even remember. Freaking almost having a heart attack when the two girls almost meet. Yeah. <laughs> we got the man. Special picture, trying to describe. Get up in a reaction. Some laugh. Shit! Look at this in public? I need to check this out somewhere where no one can see. Okay. Get it. Do you like cake? Can't reply to this because hell yeah, I would go eat some freaking cake. Shit, ignore the last text message. <laughs> okay, we got text messages and we know why the other two aren't coming. Where the hell is Johnny? Well, I got time, so I might as well get some of this talking out of the way before I call it a session here, because I'm going to probably do one floor session. Would you like to speak to Martha? Would you rather watch golf at home? Would you rather watch baseball at home? I'll say baseball. This one? I don't think Mr. Todd would say that. I hear Mr. Todd's body is heavily scarred. I hear Mr. Todd was hit by an axe. He doesn't want to show those scars to his wife. I hear Mr. Archie has many new wounds. He gets new ones every time he sleeps with a woman. I don't think he can forgive himself. <sighs> it's four days until the time of freedom. What are you talking about? What the fuck? Okay, just walk away, just walk drinking? away. Yeah, stuck to the cop, you. It's you. All I hear are rumors these days, even when I drink. I think these rumors gave me a terrible nightmare last night. These rumors are about cheating men, right? Gotta say, I, I'm a little scared. You, you have a reason to be scared, then? I'm a piece of trash. If they're cursing cheaters to death, I'd be the first to go. Trash? I killed my wife. What? What? That's the other case I told you I'm investigating, from six years ago. You killed your wife, and you're still researching the case. I'm trash. Huh. 
Oh, I'm guessing it's like suicide. You got mail. Congratulations. I still wish I knew how to delete these text messages, because I hate that. Let's go talk to these guys. When we get married, you want to go on a honeymoon in space? They lowered the application fee. It's cheaper now. Yeah, it's cheaper. It's only 50000 instead of 80000 What a steal. Besides, that's just the application fee. Who knows how much more the trip will cost? And what's this about marriage? You're joking, right? Uh, hmm. Trip into space, huh? So do we end in music? Oh, we did. Hello. Talk to the... Oh, hey. Do you have some time to talk? Oh, yeah, I gotta probably sit in the bar. I'll talk to you first. Johnny? Oh, it's Johnny. That's where he is. Does Johnny seem a bit gloomy to you? Did something happen? He don't mess around, man. I'm seriously worried about him. He always hides his problems, right? Yeah, huh? You guys are still just kids. Only your bodies grew up. I'm guessing something might have happened to this girl, man. Let's sit down. I started to think about our high school days after what happened to Paul. Oh boy, Paul loved the girls back then, too. You and Orlando were always doing stupid things. Didn't you guys once eat Catherine's lunch and get chewed out for it? Did we? I know she was mad, but she started bringing you snacks once in a while. You remember? I thought she just wasn't hungry. Eh, dumbass. There was so much going on back then. We were all busy with our own she problems. She had a crush on him since back then. It wasn't then. all Damn. fun, but I felt more alive. More than I do now. What's with you all of a sudden? Is something bothering you? No. <sighs> hey, really, what's, what's going on? I'm just reminiscing. I'm going to have another drink. If you're going home, careful. Sure. Text message. You got mail. Hey. Where's <laughs> the work? Can't see you today. Yep. There we go. Now we're starting to go that way. And I don't want to get any closer to that other Catherine too. She seems like a crazy bitch. Your friend looks melancholic. You mean me? Sorry, but I don't have any problems for you to talk about, boss. Is the rest of your group working tonight? Some days our schedules don't meet up. That's all. It's a bit lonely without them. And speaking of which, the biggest reason men start thinking about marriage is loneliness. Marriage is a state where two people can't stand living together and can't stand living apart. <laughs> to nab a quotation from a certain someone. If you stay in an apartment by yourself long enough, you tend to start thinking, maybe if I had a family. But when it comes down to actually getting married, we yeah, all... Yeah, that is kind of a big step. Well, it makes me embarrassed to hear that. Throw back some liquor and hit the hay. To get the whole of the sky on the ground, you have to lie. Though that rumor about strange nightmares does worry me a bit. I wonder if he's in there. Strange and that was a voice crack. Why don't you ask around? Everyone <clears throat> there here we seems go. to be talking about it. Text message. You got mail. Yes. Uh. Hmm. Yes. All right. Oh yeah. And watch, I'm going to screw up once with the other Catherine one, and it's going to just totally screw me over. Let's talk to the reporter. I've got a confession to make. I'm really only an ex-journalist. Oh, so you quit? I still do research, but I've stopped the whole writing part. Okay, but why? Long ago, I covered a story on a young girl, a ballerina, very talented. Lots of people were sure she'd make it big. I wrote an article about her because her story touched me. She was poor and had to take several part-time jobs while studying Ow. ballet. The article was a hit, and her popularity soared. It's the truth. 
Wow, it's really something. But at the same time, she suddenly had a lot of enemies. They must have been rivals, jealous of her newfound fame. After all the harassment, her family... What? I'm sorry. I'll tell the rest some other time. I don't think I've had enough to drink today. Go easy on the booze, okay? Okay, now I want to know what the hell's going on. Well, let's check the TV before I go. This is our latest in the coverage of the mysterious weakening death epidemic. Matthew Miller was found dead today. We retraced his footsteps from the day before as part of our investigation. This epidemic. A horrible mess. According to his mother, who spoke with him on the phone, after that point, he'd been plagued with nightmares. Are you telling me no one's pieced together that it's just... Oh, wait, the cop. Hey, it's that one guy. Let's talk to him. It's you. Sid. I've been waiting to... I can't believe you don't remember me. And all this time, I was striving to one-up you. One-up? What? I can change the markets with a nod of my head. I've got friends in every branch of government you can think of. I've done a complete 180 from when I was in grade school. So why do I feel so powerless? Mm. There's never a competition. And see, look, I screw up once and it goes all the way to you. But I've been trying to surpass you all along. What? I don't think I'm that great of a person. But all the time, freaking get it up. One freaking hate it. I can't make the one person that I love happy. Oh, Anna, was it? Out of everything in my life, she's the one thing I ever chose for myself. But I have another fiance. Um, I don't know what to say. I don't need your pity. <sighs> Bullshit. Sit down. I am going to save. I am ticked off now. So I am going to call it a part. So I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Catherine, where I hopefully stop screwing up that damn scale thing. Alright, see you guys later.